Hello everybody. I'm here together with Bernd Westhoff from Renesas Electronics. He is product manager for the RX microcontroller line. Welcome Bernd. Thank you very much. Uh, Bernd, would you just for the beginning maybe uh, explain what RX stands for? For sure. RX actually stands for uh, Renesas Extreme. Renesas RX is the latest evolution of the 32-bit microns of Renesas Electronics, which is the new merge company of Renesas Technology and NEC Electronics, which has been established on the 1st April 2010. Um, since then, we are now right now number one MCU supplier worldwide for microcontrollers. So what is... Uh what is special about the RX concept? What is the differentiation to okay. other uh, microcontroller families in the market? The main difference is the concept of the RX, which basically means to embed high performance capabilities into this 32-bit micron. So it's the RX CPU core, first of all, combined with floating point unit DSP capabilities and hardware MAC as well as barrel shifters it combining low power features so that we can even supply battery application utilizing 32-bit microns and it has a wide range of different product lines, different product variations. So it comes from 48 pin package up to 176 pin packages. It comes from 32K flash integration up to 2 megabyte flash and last but not least we also include a large amount of SRAM into those parts up to 128K. We also integrate latest technologies, latest IP technologies in our RX CPU. This includes the 90 nanometers mono flash technology, which achieves a 10 nanosecond access time to the integrated flash, which is right now worldwide, or let me say on Earth at least, the fastest flash te technology you can get. It has USB capabilities, Ethernet as well as CAN and some dedicated parts are actually designed for motor control as well. And last but not least we have a very very good cool efficiency of those parts as that core based on SIS technology, SIS instruction set, meaning the overall code you're going to use for your application will be shrinked roughly about 28% compared to any traditional architecture you can find in the market. Um, are there different families uh, available? Currently? Right, right. Thanks for pointing me to that point. Um, actually, the overall RX platform is split in two different series. First of all, the RX 600 series is the high performing product line up to 100 megahertz CPU frequency. It comes with the USB, Ethernet and CAN and all the fancy connectivity features you may imagine for a state-of-the-art MCU um, on the market. It has 2 megabyte flash integration and comes with up to 128K RAM. Wide range of packages is obviously, are obviously available as well. The RX200 is slightly tuned to the 50 megahertz range. Nevertheless, it gives the same kind of performance at 50 megahertz, but it's also tuned for lower voltage applications. So you can get true 1.62 volt VCC level on those RX200, making the RX200 a fantastic device for battery driven applications or applications where power consumption is a major criteria for cho choosing an MCU. Can you show us uh, the RX product lineup? Sure. So the overall RX family roadmap looks uh, quite versatile. So all have been started with the RX 610 in 2009. Since then we had uh, various evolutions on the RX uh, lineup. So first of all, the connectivity line. There you can see the RX 62 and 621. Those are parts with Ethernet, USB and CAN integration came up to 512K flash and 96K of RAM. The uh, evolution doesn't stop at that point. It goes further down uh, up the roadmap to RX 63 and 631, which also include then 2 megabyte flash and 128K RAM. In the general purpose line, we actually extend the RX 610 uh, history 
with the RX 630, which has even a wider range of package variations and also integrates USB device as well as CAN. And one interesting factor is actually the dedicated part or are the dedicated parts for the motor control area, the RX 62T and the evolutional part RX 6T. 63T-L and dash H. So 62T is a dedicated part for the motor control area, comes with up to 256K flash and uh, 64 pin packages up to 112 pin. So it has dedicated features embedded to make a motor control quite efficient. Thank you very much. Thanks.